That's because the Jordan River that once poured into it is almost gone, used up by different countries competing for its water. So now when Dead Sea water evaporates because of the heat, no new water comes in. And the heat is getting worse. They see the surplus of the Nile waters, which is accrued by the high capacity of Lake Nasser, Egypt's Nile water reservoir, that reserve billions of cubic meters would be enough to solve the other areas of water problems. These waters can be transferred to the north and east into the Gaza Strip, the Israeli Negev, and, in certain conditions to the West Bank and to Jordan at a substantial cost. The Egyptians will be able to transport the Nile waters both northward and eastward. It is also considered to be cheaper for Israel to receive water from the Nile than receiving it from the Sea of Galilee. Water covers 70% of planet Earth, but fresh water composes only a little of the whole percentage. The total water covering the globe is about 1.41 billion cubic kilometers, and it is spread over the Earth's surface. Most of this water is salty which cannot be used for drinking or cooking unless the salt is removed. A mere 3% of this quantity is considered to be fresh water. According to a recent World Resources Institute report, Less than 1% of all fresh water is available to satisfy human needs with the greatest share coming from surface water, such as lakes, rivers, and streams, and groundwater. It was observed in 1990 that there was a tremendous fall in the average level of fresh water in the Middle East. The situation in the Middle East region might face more difficulties, as there is more scarcity in water resources in the Jordanian Valley. Israel, Jordan and Syria have been through many conflicts concerning this issue, and each country has expressed its deep concern on water shortage. A mediation by the United States in 1955 managed to resolve the problem by reaching an agreement, which gave 570 million cubic meters of Jordanian river to Israel and 720 cubic meters to Jordan. The water scarcity in Gaza Strip brings more attention to the analysts, as it has a great effect in the peace process continuation. In this piece of land, the water scarcity is tied up with the function of the population growth, an agriculture-intensive economy, a fragile water ecosystem, and an inequitable distribution of water. As noted above, the overwhelming problem in the Middle East at the present is water, which is a vital resource for all countries. The annual growth rate of population in Iraq, Syria, Jordan, and Saudi Arabia has been registered in the past few years between 3 to 4 percent. However, the population growth in Lebanon, Kuwait and Israel is between 1.5 to 2 percent for which the need for fresh water will be more intensive and crucial. These waters can be transferred to the north and east into the Gaza Strip, the Israeli Negev, and, in certain conditions to the West Bank and to Jordan at a substantial cost. The water scarcity in the Middle East is a sensitive issue that has a linkage to the peace process conformation in the region and a tremendous influence in every attempt to enhance a good relationship between the countries in the region. Many political decisions, economic agreements, or strategies for peace include water. Agreement on the cooperative use of the region's water resources is seen as a major building block in the construction of peace in the area.
Many states, such as the United States and the European countries have great interests in promoting peace and stability between the Arab states and Israel. In essence, the Middle East peace process that took place immediately after the Gulf War has resulted in the Israeli-Jordanian peace agreement. These agreements have a significant linkage with water issues that catalyze some previous conflicts between the Arabs and Israel. As the two old adversaries approach more advancement in the peace process, some scholars have written about the future water projects that they think will enhance cooperation and peace between the conflicting parties in the region. The Yarmouk River is one of bigger water resources in the Middle East, with an annual flow of some 500 million cubic meters. The river was distributed among the riparian countries, Syria, Jordan, and Israel. According to a tacit agreement, higher amounts of water were allocated to Jordan. The Israelis obtained 500 million cubic meters a year from the Galilee Sea by exploiting the Yarmouk winter floodwaters, which Jordan cannot utilize due to their limited storage facilities by pumping them to the Israeli central regions. Another water project, which is believed to play a significant role in the Middle East cooperation is the Nile Water Project. They see the surplus of the Nile waters, which is accrued by the high capacity of Lake Nasser, Egypt's Nile water reservoir, that reserve billions of cubic meters would be enough to solve the other areas of water problems. These waters can be transferred to the north and east into the Gaza Strip, the Israeli Negev, and, in certain conditions, to the West Bank and to Jordan at a substantial cost. The Egyptians will be able to transport the Nile waters both northward and eastward. It is also considered to be cheaper for Israel to receive water from the Nile than receiving it from the Sea of Galilee. Waters transferred to Israel from the Sea of Galilee requires an energy cost of 2 up to 3 kilowatt hour per cubic meters, while pumping the waters from Nile would cost only less than 1 kilowatt hour per cubic meters. If this happens, it would allow Israel to exchange the waters received from the Sea of Galilee to Jordan and West Bank. Egypt also plans to transport the Nile water to the Sinai Peninsula and create an irrigation work there, which would require them to build a canal along the Mediterranean shore. According to research report by Major Abdullah al Suleimani, the issue of water is the most important issue in the relationship between the Middle East countries, and it is an issue that can trigger the conflicts in the region. Water issue in the Middle East is considered an overwhelming issue in the region, which has witnessed a lot of conflicts in the last 30 years. This water issue has now a great linkage with the ongoing peace process, and it cannot be separated from the whole objective of reaching stability in the region. All the survey reports by the international agencies conducted in this issue show that there would be a serious scarcity in water in the Middle East region. Governments in this region are working hard to find a solution that will enable them to avoid any unpredicted conflict and will enhance the cooperation among those states. To this end, the Israeli Arab states' cooperation in water projects, including a Nile water project, is seen as a vital issue in promoting peace in the Middle East region. The inclusion of Nile water in the Middle East water issue has implications for Ethiopia. 86% of the Nile's water comes from Ethiopia. Any decision to include the Nile water to be a part of the Middle East water crisis comes with an interest to influence, control, the source country Ethiopia.